Hi, I'm Hannah, and I'm here with Y Yoga. We're about to do a 10-minute session on the shoulders. The shoulders with just using your body weight. So there's no need for any equipment. If you do have any weights around and you'd like to add them in throughout, you're more than welcome. But we are going to use our own body to challenge those shoulders. So let's start by coming down onto the floor, finding yourself all the way down, lying on your thighs, on your belly, and just letting your legs nice and long reach down your mat. I'm going to ask you to take your arms down by your side, lift them slightly off the floor, and then think of tailbone reaching towards your heels, belly scooping in and up away from the floor, and then your ribs just slightly lifting up away. Your arms are gonna reach down the mat and pulse. So we have five different movements. We're gonna repeat them twice. And this is our first movement for the back of the shoulders. So even though you'll feel a little bit of those triceps, I want you to think about those shoulders on the back, lifting the arms from the very top. You're going for another 10. You're nodding the chin slightly in. Your eyes are looking to the floor and you're lifting the arms by really widening across the collarbones and keeping the front of the shoulders nice and open. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take your hands close to your ribs, tuck your toes, press yourself up into a nice modified plank. Tailbone lengthens, belly draws in. Now I want you to walk your hands a little closer towards one another and reach one arm past your ear and then bring it back down. So now I want you to lift from underneath the arm. So think of lifting from underneath your armpit. So you're floating up away from the floor, toning the shoulders from the front and the side, using your abdominals to encourage a little bit more support so it's not all in your upper body. Keep the back of your head lifted. Keep your eyes looking past your mat so you have a nice long neck, nice long spine. Keep the hips nice and still. You have two more. And last one. Take your hands back to shoulder distance apart. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, and come into a nice pike position. We're going to transition forward into a straight-legged plank, and then hips go back and up into a nice pike. I'd like you to continue to work your way forward and back. So notice that you're working from underneath those arms. You're still working the shoulders more across the front and through the side. See if you can find the back of your shoulders flat on your ribs. So lift away from the floor just a little more with your finger pads and the toes. Two more. And last one. Come back down onto your knees and then take your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Take your right arm past your ear. We're going to work with the rotators of the shoulder now. So press away with your standing hand. Standing arm is firm, strong and supportive. Pull the elbow back. Extend the arm out to the side and then roll your arm bone so you can touch the back of your hand to your low back. And then we rewind it. So we're going to release, open up the arm, pull it in, reach it out. And then again, pull it in, extend it out, rotate to touch your low back, and then rewind. Pull it in and reach it out. Last one. Pull in, reach out to the side, roll through those arm bones to touch your low back, and then rewind to pull it all back in. We're going to bring the right hand down, press into the right fingers, lift it of the armpit, and extend your left arm. So again, we're breathing as we're moving. We're keeping that nice long spine. We're going to pull the elbow in to the side of the body and then reach the arm out. Roll the arm bones. Arm bones roll in the shoulder socket, and then they rewind. So unroll the arm bones, pull the arm in, straighten the arm past your ear two more times. So you're breathing the arm out to the side, rolling the arm bones in the shoulder socket, and then take it back out to the side, pull it in, and reach it away. Notice both arms are important here, so keep active through that right arm. One more time through, find those external rotators, 
open up through the front of the shoulders. And as you release, bring yourself back to that nice pike position. So lift your hips and then walk your feet towards your hands, bend your knees and sit on your bum. <laughs> Take your hands behind you. You can do one of two things, fingers towards your heels or fingers away. So whatever you prefer. We're gonna use a little more of the back of the shoulders and the sides of the shoulders here. So lengthen the tailbone, lift the hips, find a nice table position, and then bring your hips down. You're using your feet, but you're also using your arms to press, press into all 10 finger pads, press and open up through the front of the shoulders and feel those triceps and the back of the shoulders. Four more here. So we're using our exercises with just our body to challenge the shoulders to lift our weight, but we never really use them on their own. We wanna use our core, we're using a little bit of our legs here, but your shoulders are a big part of these moves. One more. And then come on back, let's turn around and go from the top. So we have a few moves to get through, Five in total. Let's come on down onto the belly. Think of legs long, arms reaching down towards your heels. Open up through those collarbones. Think of belly scooping in and up. Arms are going to pulse. Really feel the arms lifting from the very top where they attach to the shoulders, shoulder socket there in the back and the side. Feel the shoulder blades flat on your back as you pulse your arms. Continue to breathe for five. See what happens when you bring your arms a little further away. And then when you bring them back in. Two. And one. Press your hands close to the ribs. Tuck your toes. Press yourself up, self up and bring your hands closer underneath your chest. Now you're going to find that nice, strong underarm energy. Lift and reach. One arm at a time. Now you could try this with your knees off the ground. Go a little stronger with your long torso. <sighs> Breathing in and out, lifting the back of the head, the back of the neck so you're not letting the gravity bring your head too low to the ground. Last one. And then bring your knees down. Come on to all fours. Tuck your toes and lift your hips and come forward into a plank. Lift your hips and come forward into a plank. Two more. <sighs> Last one. And then come onto your knees. Let's go right into our external rotators. So lift your right arm, pull it in, reach it away, rotate, touch your low back, and then come back to center, pull it in and reach. Do it again. So here we're using more mobility. We're actually opening and closing through the shoulder. It's kind of a nice thing to do, especially because a lot of us have lost some of our mobility in our shoulders, especially when we try to touch our low back. It might be challenging. All right, let's switch sides. So do what you can. Reach and pull. Go slow and really allow the bones to move in the joints. By going slow, you give the joints or the bones time to find their place. Breathing in and out, letting that standing arm also be part of this. As you lift from underneath the armpit, you can feel the standing arm is working. One more left. And then slowly bring yourself back. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Let's do a few more pikes to plank just to release and reset, recenter our shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. <sighs> Two more. And on the last one, you're gonna take your feet through, walk to the front, sit on back down, and find yourself with your hands either turned in or away. We're back on our hands, feet are on the floor, knees are parallel, we're gonna lift those hips and find the table position with our thighs nice and open, shoulders nice and strong, and then come on back. 
You'll notice with our second round, you might feel your abdominals have also been challenged with those shoulders. And as I mentioned, that you do need to use your abdominals, your back strength, as well as your obliques in a lot of these exercises. Our shoulders need the help of the core. Let's do four more here. And three. Think of lengthening through the side waist, shoulders nice and wide in the collarbones. Think of the collarbones separating apart. Last one. And then when you come down, take a seat, bring your legs around and just find yourself on your hands and knees again. Tuck your toes and feel your ball of your feet pressing into the floor. You're gonna walk your hands towards your thighs and sit on top of your heels. And then let's just do a nice stretch through the shoulders. So take your arms in front. If you find this is challenging for your ankles, it doesn't feel comfortable, you can also place a cushion underneath your knees and just stay upright. So we're just gonna work a nice rotation of the shoulders, first by opening and closing off on both sides. Think of peeling your hand away. One more time. And then when you come back, bring your hands on your thighs and take one leg forward. So now bring your arms in front and we're gonna go a little bigger. So now we're creating an arc through the space. Just a few times on one side. Two more. Reach and lengthen. Last one. We're gonna finish up with the other side. So mobility is just as important as the strength of the shoulders. Let's take the shoulders wide and apart and start to create your nice arc. Once again, we're adding a little bit of core, rotating through that torso, lengthening up through the spine. Two more. And last one. Come back to center and release. And there you have your 10 minutes of shoulders. I hope you feel your shoulders nice and strong, nice and open. I look forward to seeing you again for another 10 minute movement class here with myself and Y Yoga. Thanks for joining.